Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day today. And I just kind of want to start out this video saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just added one more subscriber. I really appreciate it. Whether you're seeing my videos from Twitter, whether you're seeing my videos because you saw an automotive video on my channel or another finance video, I deeply appreciate it. I would really like to get to 500 subscribers by February of 2021 and let's see how far we can take this i appreciate again i see you i appreciate you subscribing to me and i hope that i can provide some type of value some type of insight something that interests you something that i could show you uh because i do feel like finance is something that a lot of people are missing out on and i'm not the smartest person in the world i'm the first to admit that first in line to admit that, but I do think that if people just had some type of idea or insight or, hey, that was really interesting, I didn't know that, that could really go a long way for many, many people if they were to see a video like mine. So I do appreciate it. And if you are interested in my other finance videos, you can actually go on my channel to playlists and you can pick whether you wanna watch finance videos, if you aren't even here for finance, I have automotive videos too, some adventure videos if you're really into that. Whatever you want, you can skip around. It's all up to you, but I just wanted to take a minute to say I appreciate it. I'm watching, I see it, I appreciate it. And however you listen to me, whether it's on my podcast, you can find it on Pocket Change just by looking up in Apple, Google, Spotify, wherever you listen to podcasts, because I see that too. I see the analytics on that and I see that people are listening to it. So I appreciate it and there's a plug for that. Anyway, let's get into today's video because I actually did make a video last week about my uh, holding in Square. I do own Square. I've owned it since its IPO in 2015. It has done the best out of any stock I've ever, ever owned. Um, and... There's a reason for that, because I've held it for five years. I've held it for a long time, and I believed in the company. So today is a video where we are going to go over the rest of my stock portfolio. What stocks are in my portfolio right now? What did I used to own? That's not going to be necessarily something that you're going to see visually, but I will talk about that. So let's get right into it. What stocks do I own right now? And in a video later on down the line, I'll go into what ETFs I own, and then also a special part of a, uh, a secret portfolio that I have that's done extraordinarily well and has stood the test of even the stock market low of March 23rd, 2020. It's stuck through that and it has gained enormous amount. Again, that's a secret thing. You're gonna have to continue to watch and continue to describe subscribe to see that video later on down the line. Anyway, here we go. As you can see, these are the current list of stocks that I'm holding. And you'll notice a pretty big pattern once I read off all of them and once you see all of them. But first, I'm going to start out with I own Microsoft, Square, Apple, Raytheon Technologies, Ping Identity, Wendy's, AT&T, and Albertsons. And this might seem like a lot, but it's actually not. Uh, a lot of people own a lot more stocks than I do, but I only own these ones for a specific reason. I have done a lot of reading. I've read The Intelligent Investor, and you should really own no more than, you know, between 10 and 12 stocks to start out and to be seriously considering yourself as a good portfolio owner and manager of your own stocks and your own equities. It's good to start off small and then maybe one day you'll get enough money that you are into the 20s, 30s, 40s in total equities that you own. And as you can see by this list, I'm pretty top heavy. I own a lot of tech, but Apple and Microsoft, I almost consider mega cap, not growth, because there's this absolute giants in their industry. But then others that I hold, like Ping Identity, is something that is a pure growth stock in tech, 
I also own AT&T, which is communications, Wendy's, which is fast food, Albertsons, and Raytheon. Now, you might think that's really, really, like I said, top heavy with tech stocks, but it's for a good reason. I try to make sure that a stock pays a dividend and that it's not a growth stock, even though that is what I technically should be investing in. I'm just trying something in this specific portfolio that I have read about that has pretty low downside as far as the mix of investing. So I could own, you know, all dividend paying stocks. And that actually, from what I've read, would pay over the very, very long term. That is a separate ideology that I have that I've placed into another account with only ETFs that are invested in it. So I've placed that ideology that I do want invest I do want like dividend high dividend paying stocks consistently paying dividend stocks um to be owned by an index that or ETF that I will then invest in. So I do have that going on in another account, but this specific portfolio that I just showed you is really a growth portfolio. And for instance, uh, up until a few months ago, uh, Boeing used to pay a dividend. But because of the pandemic, they're trying to hold on to money because they have literally been throwing money into a fire. That's how basically Boeing's operating, right? So the tables have pretty much turned into they are what's going to happen in the future kind of stock rather than steady, consistent what you can rely on. With that being said, I was invested in them before, but I really looked at it as a growth play. And it's, again, for what I just mentioned with them basically burning their cash pile. Um, so I was invested in Boeing before. I was also invested in Cisco Systems. So if you own a Wi-Fi router, a modem, something from your company, some type of phone, like conference phone in your company's office, uh, in like a conference room. That's what Cisco makes. They also do cybersecurity as well. Uh, they were a value play, high cash flow, tech stock that pays a dividend. Doesn't really grow much though. Doesn't really have much pro prospects for growth and doesn't really go anywhere. It doesn't really move the needle as far as overall in tech. Just a big, steady, consistent son of a gun. That's Cisco for you. So I got rid of those. Uh, that's again, one growth, one value kind of uh, example. I got rid of those recently and I've been moving or more into a specific kind of portfolio that I again it's a secret. I will talk about it in another video. So I hope that you do continue watching and subscribing because you're going to want to listen to it. Um, but I'm kind of making a shift into what I want to really get my hands into as far as uh, owning specific types of equities. I am basically uh, into tech more because those grow more. A growth stock is something that you invest in with high growth, high revenue growth, uh, revenue growing every quarter, quarter over quarter, year over year, it's high growth and you're not expected to be paid a dividend in something like that uh, because the company is supposed to be reinvesting its profits into itself, into its R&D, into trying to grow it by uh, uh, acquiring other companies, expanding the business. So that is what I'm basically focused on. Uh, tech stocks that could get acquired, such as Ping Identity, I do believe that they will be one day acquired. I used to own, uh, about a year ago, a company called Arrowhive Networks that made uh, little router type things for businesses just because they had a partnership with Verizon and Dell that was supposed to be a pretty big deal and it ended up going from uh, a penny stock to even more of a penny stock <laughs> and ended up taking quite a bloodbath on that and then they actually got bought by someone and 
they were bought for far less than what I paid for them. So that was not good. But those are just, that's that's a growth stock. It's a company that doesn't pay a dividend, is just trying to make its way out there, but has high revenue growth as far as like going from like $10 million a year in revenue to like $50 million a year in revenue. $50 million a year in revenue is not that much for a tech company, but you know what? It makes the list for growth because it went from 10 to 50. So anyway, that was my portfolio. And I hope that you know, I get some comments as far as what do you like? What are you interested in? What do you want to know about what I'm invested in? And I'm going to leave it at that. So with that, guys, thank you again. Uh, thank you for my last subscriber that subscribed to me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Again, I'm not in some fancy studio. I don't have fancy uh, camera equipment. I'm just sitting in my apartment. This is literally just a decoration in the background in my apartment. That's it. That's what I am. I'm just a simple person that was trying to make some videos and I hope that you subscribe. So with that being said, have a great day.